Hey, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. And in this video, I kind of want to share my Ethereum mining profitability as I seen it before London Hard Fork and EIP 1559 and post London Hard Fork. And if you're under a rock and you haven't been paying attention, well, Ethereum has been doing some upgrades in preparation for ETH 2.0. And EIP, Ethereum Improvement Proposal 1559, implemented a number of changes in preparation for ETH 2.0 to come out but one of the mechanisms is to burn the Ethereum or burn the fees a certain portion of these fees of Ethereum and you can see right now we've burned a lot of Ethereum in total already if I refresh this page if you look at the top number and I get out of your way here you'll see that we have burned over 30 million dollars worth of Ethereum that's a lot of money um, now in my past live stream I did talk about uh, the possibilities of using that money to help out various countries, entities, or whatever, or funding government programs, but that's neither here nor there. These fees are being burnt. The amount, the burn rate is about 3.36 ETH per minute, uh, or 3.09 over the past 24 hours. Now, the profitability is still there. Like, it is still profitable to mine Ethereum right now. I have seen, depending on your system, whether you're NVIDIA or AMD, uh, ergo take over as the top cryptocurrency to mine now the gap between ethereum and these other altcoins has diminished but ethereum is profitable to mine however what is that going to mean for the long term we have to keep an eye on it now i do a series every month of what was the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine and what i'm really interested in is how it, this is going to affect it over time because ethereum has been a top coin over the past years um, as especially in the latter part of 2020 2021 so we'll have to see how things shape up now right now on ethermine I'm making an average or an estimated average of 0 0.0158 ETH per day um, and the hash rate did dip down because I'm using my main machine right now to record this video but I do have the data for you the amount of ETH has changed but you notice that I'm up over $50. I don't want you to look at the fiat value. I want you to look at the dollar value because by the time I'm recording this video, pricing of Ethereum may have changed when you're looking at it. And I'm going to show you right now at time of filming what is the current price of Ethereum. There we go, finally. So as you can see, we're up about almost 6%. Ethereum's over $3,000, which is why the fiat value is up higher. It's over $50 per day that I could make mining Ethereum with my current system. Now, as you can see on Ethermine, I'm averaging anywhere from 625 to 650 mega hash, probably a little bit more than 650 once I get this main machine working. I have charted out the profits over time, but I want to read out a couple things to you. I'm going to move this out of your way while you look at the chart. So around March, the end of March, my average daily Ethereum income was 0 0.03340 plus MEV profits, right? And we started learning more and more about MEV when the EIP 1559 proposal came to light and they were saying that we're missing out on miner extracted value. Then the pool started paying that out to the miners after we got a little bit more information on the situation but the projected outcome from calculators or the projected profitability or the amount of ETH we were earned per day was 0 0.297 on my setup. So around 650 to 700 mega hash, keep that in the back of your mind. On July 27, 2021, uh, the average daily uh, Ethereum that I would make is 0 0.22 to 0 0.15. But this was shortly after Ethermine implemented a couple of changes where you can utilize Polygon uh, because the fees were getting too crazy and stuff like that. And fees has always been a problem for Ethereum, uh, which is why this EIP 1559 and changes in the London hard fork is being made in preparation for ETH 2.0. The projected amount from calculators was 0 0.232. And then on August 6th, 6, uh, post London hard fork, we dropped down dramatically below the twos, 0 0.02, down to 0 0.018 to 0 0.014, anywhere in that range. The average projected, though, was 0 0.0166. And today, 
48 hours plus after the London hard fork average income 0 0.015 to 0 0.017 with the projected being 0 0.165 so that is a significant amount so I would say even in the past looking at ethermine from time to time I would be close to 0 0.2 Ethereum at least at least 0. Point, let's say 0. 0.18 see if I can do it real quick we're gonna do what we're currently at let's just do 0, 0. 0.016 right right at the top divided by 0. 0.018 12% reduction from where I used to be to now and that was that's a more recent number if I go back even further and was getting 0 0.022 right so if we do 0 0.016 divided by 0 0.022 28 percent profit loss that I'm losing right there so unfortunately the impacts of London have a positive spin it's obviously bullish the market's happy with it. A lot of the investors, traders, and venture capitalists are seeing this as a big gain. The miners, not so much because they're losing profit. But it is a positive thing for Ethereum. It's just unfortunate that our profits are being hit. However, it's not being hit that hard because Ethereum, with this price gain, if it can maintain this price gain and continue to move up, will continue to keep Ethereum as the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine. But these other currencies will be making a run like Ravencoin, Ergo and Ethereum Classic would be the, the three coins I would recommend mining. You know, mining is not dead when EVE 2.0 comes, but those are other coins that you can look into mining. I just wanted to share my data with you. If the Ethereum price tanks, that's when we're going to see the biggest impact of this EIP 1559 implementation. Um, We'll have to keep an eye on things, see how things go. But I would like to hear from you down below. What is going on with you? What are you mining? Are you still mining Ethereum? If you're not mining Ethereum, what are you mining as well? What are your thoughts of EIP 1559? What are your thoughts of $30 million being burnt after 48 hours of this implementation of London Fork? Let me know down below. But that's going to do it for me today. Please do me a favor. On the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out any of the links down below to help support the channel. And I greatly appreciate your time. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.